hi guys welcome to auto layout part 4 in this uh, episode we'll talk about intrinsic size we'll create a view with dynamic size okay so intrinsic content size the intrinsic content size is based on use current content for example ui label and ui button by default have intrinsic content size suppose uh, example ui lab, uh, a labels intrinsic size uh, is based on the amount of text shown in the font used and a button's intrinsic size is its title plus a small margin so we will take a UI uh, view and we will place a UI label inside it and uh, we want our uh, view to have a dynamic height according to the uh, uh, the text uh, contained by the UI label ok so let's start by creating a project So this is our view controller. Let's drag and drop a UI view here. Let's change its background color. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's uh, place uh, some constraint over it. I'll use pin option instead okay uh, top space leading space trailing space add three constraint so if you guys are not familiar with pin options then uh, you must have to go through uh, auto layout part one episode okay so now let's fix the height okay so you must be uh, getting confused that uh, if we are trying to build a UI view with dynamic height then how can we fix the height because height equals 174 means the height of this view will be equal to 174 in every screen size so if we want to build a, a view with dynamics uh, height then how can we fix its height we can fix it but we have to uh, edit this constraint a bit okay instead of equal we'll uh, choose greater than or equal okay and instead of 174 the constant value will be zero okay so what this means this means that uh, either the uh, the height of this view will be zero or greater than zero okay so depending on the content inside it okay so let's uh, drag and drop a ui label inside our view okay so be uh, careful while uh, uh, adding a ui label to your view it should be inside your uh, green uh, green view okay so as you can see uh, this is our green view and the label is inside our green view okay so if uh, if you haven't placed the label inside your green view then uh, you can't adjust your uh, green views height according to the, uh, according to the labels content okay so now just uh, now I'll be I will use pin option uh, to pin my label across the green view okay so done okay so that's it uh, our this uh, this green view is dynamic now so let me prove it to you okay uh, simply let's click update frame so the height of the green uh, green view uh, is uh, dynamically uh, dynamically adjusted according to the uh, text of text of, text of our list of our label increase the text of our label suppose if we type anything let's just copy it paste it paste it paste it paste it okay and press press enter and uh, update frame okay uh, the one more important thing that uh, you should make the number of lines to be zero okay now if I'll update frame okay so you can see the uh, height of the view uh, has been increased according to the text uh, of the label inside it okay so again if I remove the text okay again I will update frames
and the height of uh, sorry update frames and the height of your uh, green view is adjusted again according to the text inside your UI label okay so this is how you can create a UI view with dynamic size okay so if you have learned something from this video then like our video share our video subscribe our channel tell others about our channel okay so see you in the next video